Hello everyone. Am I visible? Audible? Give me a minute to confirm it. If I'm clearly visible, audible, I will start it ahead. Or someone from the audience can give me a thumbs up in the chat box for confirmation. I cannot see it, see it live yet. If you can see, please give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Okay, I hope it is working. Yes. So let me start. So I welcome you all for this session also. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here, educator on an academy. And today I am here to take a series of general pharmacology, the free live lectures of general pharmacology. We have started with pharmacokinetics. So in pharmacokinetics, we have already done a portion that is absorption. We know just a second. So these are the two branches which I am going to deal. So today I will finish pharmacokinetics and tomorrow I will teach you pharmacodynamics. So in pharmacokinetics, there are four chapters to be taught as you already know. We have covered absorption in the last lecture. So we have seen all the factors of absorption of the drug. We have seen the definition. We have understood the mechanism. And the most important was pH, the pH dependency of the drug. So acidic drugs are absorbed from acidic medium. Basic drugs are absorbed from basic medium. For excretion, opposite medium is required. We have seen all that. We have started distribution. We have seen the two form of the drugs in the last lecture. The free form of the drug and the bound form of the drug. The bound form of the drug is plasma protein binding. We were looking at the implications of bound form of pl or plasma protein binding. We have already seen in the last lecture that it is the proportion of free and bound which decides the onset and duration of action. We have already seen that. Onset is decided by the free drug, free form and duration is decided by the bound form. Why bound form? Because bound form is the reservoir. So more is the reservoir, more is the duration. You can learn like that. And free will decide the onset. Free is the active. So more is the free, more is the active form. So sudden will be the onset. So you can learn like that. So onset of drug depends on uh, free form and duration of action depends on bound form. So the drugs which have more free, less bound will have fast onset but less duration. The drugs which have less free but more bound will have slow onset but more duration of action. So there are two types of world, uh, uh, drugs in the world. We have seen that uh, depending on the onset and duration and it depends on the proportion of free and bound form. Let me come with one more implication of free and bound form. Give me a minute to jump on the slide where I have left. Just a second. Just a second. You have to give me a minute to jump on the next implication of the free and bound form. Meanwhile, please give me a thumbs up if you can see me, if you can hear me. So we can go ahead to the next concept. Okay, so here I am. Here I am. We have seen, we have already seen there are two forms of the drug. You can see here, this is the free form. This is the bound form. Free form is not bound to the plasma. Bound form is bound to the plasma. Free form is active. It will go to site of action and show its mechanism of action. It will go to the liver, show the metabolism, convert from non-polar to polar and go to the kidney and get excreted. Yes, okay, done. So it is a free form. Bound form will remain in the blood only. It is acting as a reservoir, right? So we have seen free form is active. It will show mechanism of action. It, it will show metabolism. It will show excretion. Bound form is inactive. It acts as a reservoir. It is neither metabolized nor excreted, no show, not show mechanism of action. So we have already seen that, right? Onset and duration ka funda, I have already taught you the two type of the drugs, right? Having more bound form, less free form. So this is the summary. This is the summary. There is late, on, uh, late onset but prolonged duration of action. But the other way around, more free form and less bound form, this is the summary. There is fast response, but uh, less duration of action. So you can understand. Instead of learning, please understand it. So coming to the next concept. Coming to the next concept. The next concept is in front of you. Okay. Uh, I have told you that uh, the drug is bound. The acidic drug bounds to which uh, protein and uh, basic drug bounds to which protein. The blue is the protein. You can see this blue is the protein. So if the drug is acidic, it is binding to albumin. Say yes or no, albumin. And if the drug is basic, it is binding to alpha 1 glycoprotein. Give me a thumbs up if you already know this. Everyone, now listen to the next concept very carefully. Huh? There are some diseases in which albumin is less in human blood. So name the diseases, nephritic syndrome, nephrotic syndrome. So there is a disease in the kidney known as nephritic or nephrotic syndrome. Nephritic syndrome or nephrotic syndrome, the two different, basically nephrotic. So all the protein is lost in urine. All the protein, especially albumin is lost in urine. So albumin is lost in urine. So there is less albumin in the blood. So less albumin. So just suppose this is the drug coming, I am taking a drug. 
this is the drug the drug is going inside me the drug is go going inside me right the drug is getting absorbed reaching here right now drug is supposed to bound with the plasma protein but albumin is absent it is an acidic drug it is supposed to be bound with albumin but there is no albumin in the blood albumin is very less in the blood so very less free form will be there so uh, sorry free form will be more and bound form will be less now it is not the thing that actual bound form is less bound form was supposed to be more but since albumin is absent that's why bound form is less so limiting factor here is the albumin absence or ab albumin less concentration because albumin is lost in urine because of nephritic or nephrotic syndrome so human blood having less albumin so bound form will be less so there is no albumin to bound to wo bound kaise karega so bound form is less so free form is more give me a thumbs up now being a doctor i don't know the patient is having my patient came to me with some other disease i forgot to ask the patient do you have some kidney problem and patient also forgot to tell me i am having a nephritic or nephrotic syndrome or some comorbidity he forgot to tell me i forgot to ask that's why you have to ask leading questions from the patient patient will not tell you you have to ask leading question do you have any kidney problem do you have any liver problem are you pregnant are you lactating do you have this do you have this do you have asthma do you have diabetes the, not depending on the answers of the patient you decide your drug for whatever disease the patient is coming to you now whatever specialty you are practicing so it is not the patient to always tell you patients are not always so smart that they that they tell you that doctor i am having diabetes also asthma also i am having kidney problem also i am having liver now i am having this disease so they don't know that these diseases affect the choice of the drug of course it affect the choice the comorbidities always affect the choice of the drug now you have a cocktail of drug in front of you for the same disease you have multiple drugs which drug you have to opt for which patient it depends on patient to patient comorbidity right that is my point just suppose your patient is having some nephritic nephrotic syndrome some kidney problem so he is having less albumin in the blood obviously because most of the albumin is lost in the urine so if you give any drug so it is obvious that drug will have less bound form because albumin is less less bound so more free more free form more free form so that more free hoga to kya hoga it is active form the free form is the active it will enter the site of action and show uh, show the mechanism of action normally if there was no albumin deficiency so only 10 was free and 90 was bound since the patient don't have albumin now so is, albumin is absent so only 10 is bound and 90 is free but you are deciding your concentration based on 10 free so 10 free consider karte hue you have decided that decided the dose so please take 500 mg 1000 mg of the drug you don't know the patient is having nephritic syndrome but that drug instead of 10 it will be present 90 so it will cause toxicity that is my point it will cause toxicity you got my point yes or no so in case of hypoalbuminemia or nephritic or nephrotic syndrome albumin in the blood is less so there is less protein binding so there is less free uh, there is less bound form and there is more free form more free form will cause the toxicity it will cause the toxicity give me a thumbs up so if such patient is coming to you if your normal dose for that particular drug is 500 instead of 500 give only 100 or give only 250 so reduce the dose in such patient having nephritic syndrome if your drug is acidic ha huh, not basic i'm talking about albumin not for the alpha 1 glycoprotein give me a thumbs up now these things being a doctor you should know na if any patient just suppose i am sitting in my clinic any patient coming to you my clinic um i am a, a dermatologist just suppose i am a pathologist but just suppose the patient is showing some skin problem he is having some itching he is having some rash so i decided to give a drug but before that deciding that drug i am asking the patient do you have some kidney problem the patient is saying yes doctor i am having a glomerulonephritis and this is the treatment going on the nephrologist has given me this treatment so patient is already on treatment and patient is having nephritic or nephrotic syndrome if i know this so normal if the drug i give 500 mg instead of that i will give only 250 or 100 i will reduce the dose so he will not have toxicity and just suppose if i forgot to ask this and patient also didn't tell me i don't know patient is having nephritic syndrome so i will consider patient is normal the kidney is normal so albumin is normal so considering that i will give normal dose that is 500 i give to every patient i will give to this patient also it is it is acidic drug which i am giving so i should know which drugs are acidic which are basic and acidic drugs dose should be reduced in case of nephritic nephrotic syndrome or hypoalbuminemia the summary is that so being a doctor you should know that acidic drug dose should be reduced in a patient having hypoalbuminemia you know the reason if you don't reduce the dose the patient will have toxicity of the drug everyone give me a thumbs up i'm trying hard to give you the concepts right let me come on basic drugs now basic drugs ka funda samajhte hain i have to use the eraser yes okay i will show you another diagram okay let it be so see this diagram everyone see this diagram let me see i am having another yeah so here 
so you know there are some diseases in which uh, acute phase reactance increases there are some acute diseases if you have any some acute disease just suppose in covid also in you know in covid crp is raised we always do crp in the blood crp what is crp it is c reactive protein so c reactive protein is it is an acute phase reactant so not only in covid it will increase it will increase in all acute infection if you have any acute infection in the body acute phase reactance increases now my point is that alpha 1 glycoprotein is one of the acute phase reactant so whenever the person is having any acute infection in the body alpha 1 glycoprotein will increase not decrease it will increase give me a thumbs up if you got my point so acute phase reactants will increase that is alpha 1 glycoprotein is a acute phase reactant it will increase in the acute infection just suppose the patient have mi mi is acute thing the patient has just have a surgery after surgery there is stress on the body it is acute thing some neoplasia some rheumatoid arthritis some burns any acute phenomenon increases the concentration of alpha glycoprotein now just suppose you are giving any basic drug to this patient basic drug this drug is basic so after going in the blood the drug is supposed to get bound this is alpha 1 glycoprotein right but if there is more alpha 1 glycoprotein what will happen more drug will bound with the alpha 1 glycoprotein because the concentration is more because of acute phase reaction so more will be the bound form and less will be the active form give me a thumbs up active form or free form free form will be less so that free form is less now initially it was it was just suppose 90 was free and 10 is bound but since here it is more the protein is more now 90 is bound only 10 is free so this 10 free will go to the site of action and does not show that site of action so you have to increase the dose in this case so if the patient is having some acute infection and you are supposed to give any basic drug increase the dose of basic drug if you give only conventional dose it will not act it will not act if you give you if you want the drug to show the action you have to increase the dose of the drug so two summaries now both of them are very complicated but i tried hard let me tell you the summary let me tell you the summary okay just suppose um you want to give any acidic drug to your patient for some disease or you want to give some basic drug to your patient for some disease now you should know the list of acidic and basic drug i have already given you the list the important drug give me a thumbs up for every point please give me a thumbs up so whenever you are supposed to give any acidic drug to your patient don't forget to ask the patient is having nephritic syndrome nephritic syndrome or hypoalbuminemia if the patient is having any of these and you are giving a acidic drug decrease the dose of the drug decrease decrease the dose of the drug from the con conventional uh, dose otherwise patient will have toxicity if you don't decrease it that is the summary now if you want to give a basic drug to any patient don't forget the ask if the patient is having any acute disease in the body running on right now just suppose the patient have mi attack few days back a patient have a surgery few days back patient have burns or patient have any acute infection few days back so it is the acute phase reactant which is raised in the body if you forget to ask this you will be in trouble so if the patient is having some acute disease in the body and you want to give some basic drug so increase the dose of that drug if you don't increase the dose of that drug from the conventional dose that drug will not show its action will not show its action because free form is less so there is no action of the drug here toxicity is the problem here no action is the problem here you have to reduce the dose you have to increase the dose from the conventional dose you know the conventional dose for all drugs right for paracetamol it is 500 mg is uh, 500 g so for all drugs the adult dose the pediatric dose you know the conventional dose give me a thumbs up i'm trying hard so this is the summary so these are the implications of plasma protein binding there is one more implication i would like to tell you first give me a thumbs up itna samajh mein aaya kya bound form is really very important really very very important you have to uh, understand the concept behind it give me a thumbs up let me see if you have any doubt just a second let me see if i can see your chat yeah i can yes okay everyone give me a thumbs up or if you have any doubt please ask it specifically please ask it specifically otherwise give me a thumbs up should i move to the next concept okay i will move to the next concept okay done done i will move to the next concept so listen uh the next concept is okay hmm. so listen just suppose you don't give only one drug to the patient always you can give multiple drugs to the same patient depending is he is having multiple disease my patient is having fever also so i will give paracetamol my patient is having acidity also so i am giving ranitidin and my patient is having some infection also so i am giving some antibiotic so i am giving multiple uh, drugs to the same patient at the same time so i am giving a combination of drug just suppose i am giving two drugs together drug a 
and drug B. Now, depending on that, both drug are acidic or both are basic or one is acidic and one is basic. So, you should see the combination depending the drug, both are acidic or both are basic or how does it matter? Just suppose both the drugs are acidic. So, this is drug A, which is acidic. This is drug B, which is acidic. Both reach the liver bo uh, in the blood. So, both are going, both are getting absorbed from the stomach. Both are acidic. Both will be absorbed from the stomach. Both reach the blood. So, drug A is also present in the blood. Drug B is also present in the blood. I am saying both of them are acidic. So, both will fight for albumin. Both will fight. Albumin is single, na? So, there is a competition between the two, two drugs who will bind with the albumin. Both will bind with the albumin because acidic drugs bind with albumin. Give me a thumbs up if you got this point. So, both will fight for the albumin. Now, who will bind with the albumin? The drug having more affinity will bind with the albumin, right? The drug having less affinity it will bind less with the albumin. Just suppose A is having more affinity as compared to B. So, A will bind with the albumin, but B will not bind and B will remain free here. B will remain free here. So, it will be more free. It will be more free drug and B will cause the toxicity. It will enter the tissue and it will cause toxicity. So, the drug which is having less affinity, it cannot bind with the albumin and it will show toxicity. So, during this combination, you have to reduce the dose of the drug which is having less affinity. And you have to increase the dose of the drug which is having more, more affinity. Now, the things are complicated. I know in clinical practice, no one do this. No one. Even I practice now, if I give the combination, I have to ki both drugs are acidic, both are basic. So, I have to increase the dose of one and decrease the dose of the two from the conventional doses. But you should know all these theoretically. You should know all these, right? So, if you are giving any combination and both drugs are acidic, the same will be true for basic also. If both of them are basic, what will happen? Both of them will fight for alpha-1 gly glycoprotein, not albumin. Both of them will fight for alpha-1 glycoprotein. So, the one drug which is having high affinity will bind. The drug which low affinity will not bind. Will not bind to, that will remain free only. And once it will be free, it will cause toxicity in the tissue. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So, that is the point. Now, if one drug is acidic and one drug is, just a second. If one drug is acidic and one is basic, there is no problem. Acidic will bind with albumin and basic will bind with alpha and glycoprotein. There is no competition between them. So, the problem arises when both the drugs are acidic or both are basic. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you got my point. So, more than one drug if you are giving. If you are giving more than one drug. And it's not working. So, it will bind and both of them are acidic. So, both will fight for albumin, right? So, drug with high affinity will displace the drug with low affinity. So, acidic drugs displace acidic, basic will displace basic, basic, but acidic do not displace basic or basic do not displace acidic. So, there is no competition between acidic and basic, but there is a competition between two acidic and there is a competition between two basic. So, I hope you got my point. So, it was again a difficult concept. I tried hard. So, give me a thumbs up if you got it. Give me a thumbs up. So, you can say salicylate means aspirin and sulfonylurea is an antibiotic. So, salicylate, now just suppose my patient is having an infection for which I am trying to give sulfonylurea and my patient is um, having uh, some coagulative disorder also. So, I am giving the blood thinner aspirin. Aspirin I am giving. So, I want this combination. But if I give this combination, the aspirin will displace sulfonylurea. So, aspirin will bound to the albumin. Both of them are acidic. And sulfonylurea will not bound to the albumin. So, sulfonylurea will cause the toxicity. It will. So, I have to reduce the dose of sulfonylurea. The same you can read the combination this, read the combination this, read the combination this. So, you should know the deadly combinations. These all are deadly combinations. Either you should avoid or if you are giving it at all. So, take the doses in consideration. That is my point. Everyone give me a thumbs up. I completed a topic which is known as distribution the second chapter distribution now i will move on the third chapter metabolism so we have completed absorption now we have completed distribution also now we will move to the third chapter metabolism or biotransformation and in the last we will move to the last chapter excretion everyone first give me a thumbs up for this everyone first give me a thumbs up so absorption distribution metabolism excretion so i am telling you the summary of distribution the second chapter which we have finished just now distribution so we have seen that in distribution drugs are of two types after going in the blood, there is a free form, there is a bound form. Free form and bound form. So, bound form is the drug which is binding with the protein. So, acidic drugs bind with albumin, basic drugs bind with alpha-1 glycoprotein. We know this and that is the bound form. And the proportion between free and bound always vary. Let me complete the uh, summary, then I will launch the polls and then we will move to the next chapter, right? Free drug is the active drug. We already know free drug is the active form. 
so it will move to the site of action and show mechanism of action right it will move to the liver and show metabolism it will move to the kidney and show excretion bound form is the reservoir it is the backup it is the reservoir it is a reservoir it neither show mechanism of action like this it will not show metabolism like this it will not show excretion like this it only get converted to free form when free concentration will fall so that is the summary right listen the next point free form decide the onset of action of the drug and bound form decide the duration of action of the drug so more the free form faster is the onset less the free form slower is the onset more the bound form more is the duration of action less is the bound form less is the duration of action now you know the difference between onset and duration i guess so there is a combination of various drugs in the world i have taught you so this is the next point after that we have seen there are some diseases in which albumin increases okay let me come here just a second okay just a second there are some diseases in the world in which albumin decreases that is nephritic syndrome nephrotic syndrome so in those diseases if albumin will decrease so bound form will decrease so free form will increase that will cause toxicity so you have to reduce the dose there are some diseases in which alpha 1 glycoprotein increases that is acute phase reactants acute reactions so uh, more alpha 1 glycoprotein more will be the bound form of the basic drug more bound form less free form so less action you have to increase the dose so that was the next point i taught you now there is a competition between two acidic drugs for albumin and two basic drugs for alpha 1 glycoprotein so if you are giving two acidic drugs together take care consideration of the doses you know you have to increase the dose of that drug which is having less affinity and if you are giving two basic drugs together again take care of the doses increase the dose of that drug which is having less affinity am i right and if there is a comp there is no competition between one acidic and one basic you can give it safely at standard dose so that was the summary i tried hard if any one of you even have slightest doubt please ask me specifically otherwise allow me to the launch to launch the polls otherwise give me a thumbs up and allow me to launch the polls i want thumbs up from everyone if you give me the thumbs up i will launch the poll the polls are difficult huh? i'm warning it's based on the concepts you cannot learn pharma you have to understand the pharma okay listen this is the first question this is the first question who will tell me the answer so what is volume of distribution what is the formula of volume of distribution vod volume of distribution ka kya formula so vod is what i have told you in my experiment which i have done an experiment 1000 upon 50 that is 20 liters was the uh, volume of distribution so what was 1000 there in my experiment what was 1000 1000 is the dose administered iv iv dose i have given to my subject to my subject and what is 50 50 is the plasma concentration so the correct answer is a and i guess you all are right you all are right yes uh shivang kuldi puja shoche mohabbat siddhi very good very good i'm proud of you so you all are right very good so correct answer here is a coming to the next question the next question the you know uh, it is somewhat blurred but please try to read out it is a numerical i will give you time please take a notebook and pen and solve it so what what things i have given so concentration of the drug in the blood is 40 so it is the plasma concentration concentration of the drug in the blood is 40 microgram per ml now please take care of the units now in physics you know how to do the unit conversion so plasma concentration is equal to 40 microgram per ml write down it is a plasma concentration dose of the drug given iv is 200 so it is the dose administered iv dose administered iv is 200 milligram this one is microgram this one is milligram you have to do the conversions now what the author is asking examiner is asking volume of distribution calculate volume of distribution what is the formula who will tell me what is the answer the four options are in front of you what is the answer so what you have to do the conversions huh? 0.5 ki 5 the main confusion okay volume of distribution you know the formula it is dose administered iv upon plasma concentration so of course it will be 200 milligram in the numerator 200 milligram 200 milligram upon 40 40 microgram per ml right now okay i will do the changes now the main thing is unit conversion joke difficult for me also okay let me try so zero se zero gaya four and twenty four and twenty how we will solve it so what will be the answer four five four okay how we will solve it it is 200 only now 200 upon 40 so how we will solve it so okay let's see here so it is the formula it is 200 okay 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 so we have done like this you see it is 200 milligram so convert it into microgram so 200 milligram 
we have converted into into micrograms so it is 10 to the power minus 3 oh, sorry gram we have converted in, into gram so it is 10 to the power minus 3 gram right and 400 microgram also microgram per ml we have converted it this also also gram so everything is in gram now you can do the calculations so of course it is coming 5 into 10 to the power 3 that is 5000 ml that is 5 liter so all those who are saying a they are right they are right now if you do a slightest mistake in unit conversion your answer can come this also but this is wrong everyone give me a thumbs up everyone so it was an easy question the difficult portion here was unit conversion everyone give me a thumbs up so convert both the things in gram this also in gram from microgram do the conversion in gram this also convert from milligram to gram so milligram se gram me karo microgram se gram me karo so all the conversions are in gram you can do it in physics now so you know the conversions and mathematics everyone give me a thumbs up so this is how it is it is the numerical which came in neat pg three four years back so it is a question from neat pg it is a numerical right okay let me move ahead this is the next theory question in front of you what does low volume of distribution mean low volume of distribution i have told you volume of distribution volume of distribution is inversely proportional to bound form and volume of distribution is directly proportional to free form we have done the summary already done the summary already so this is the summary more is the bound form uh, more will be the tissue uh, sequestration oh sorry more will be the blood concentration or free form means tissue concentration tissue concentration everyone give me a thumbs up now what is the answer you tell me low volume of distribution ka matlab kya hoga what do you mean by low volume of distribution volume of distribution is low so let me apply it in the formula if volume of distribution is low so bound form is high because it is inversely proportional to the bound form it is given low volume of distribution so bound form is high means blood concentration is high let me apply it other way around low volume of distribution app applying both the both the formulas low volume of distribution means low free form because it is directly proportional here low free form means low tissue entry free form enters in the tissue it is a free form which enters in the tissue at the site of action now read the options it is more blood less tissue this is the summary so low volume of distribution means the blood the, the drug will be more in the blood and less in the tissue so now read the option low bioavailability no this is not not the answer does not accumulate in the tissue yes i will go with this does not or less accumulate in the tissue because it is more in the blood so b option is correct low absorption no volume of distribution has nothing to do with the absorption not metabolized in the body uh, you cannot say that not metabolized ultimately it will be metabolized because bound will convert into free because when the concentration will decrease so yes you all are right those who are answering so correct answer here is a yes so correct uh, uh, correct answer here is b correct answer here is b you got why it is b now it was a difficult level question as per my knowledge it was a difficult question what about you you found out easy or difficult if you don't know the concept now it will be highly it is it is more difficult for you now other options are easy if i give all options like tissue and blood only does not accumulate in tissue accumulate in tissue does not uh, accumulate in blood accumulate in blood so you will get confused you will get confused so you should have a thorough knowledge of the bound form and the free form so volume of distribution is inversely proportional to bound form and volume of proportion is directly proportional to free form bound form remains in blood free form remains in tissue that if you know this concept you can apply it everywhere so everyone give me a thumbs up if you got it everyone give me a thumbs up everyone so this is the okay this is the next question in front of you please solve it so apparent volume of distribution of drug exceeds the total body fluid what is the total body fluid volume in normal human being it is 5 liter it is 5 liter but they are saying the, the examiner is saying apparent volume of distribution ka answer is more than 5 liter that was in, a, in as in our experiment it was coming 20 liter but normal it is not 20 now it is always 5 when it will happen when it will happen it will happen when when it will happen when the drug is sequestered in the tissue or drug is slowly eliminated or drug is poorly soluble or highly bound to plasma protein in which situation it will happen when your volume of distribution value is more than the actual volume i have told you this experiment very well no? i have told you this experiment very well you tell me when it is highly bound to plasma or sequestered in the tissue why you all are saying d is the answer is it d is the answer okay first you write your uh, perception then i will tell you it is not necessary if one is saying D, D is the correct answer. Please use your own brains. Everyone use your own brain. Apply it. When the answer of volume of distribution, okay. Apply the formula. We will go with the formula. So volume of distribution, what is the formula? What is the formula of volume of distribution? It is dose administered IV upon plasma concentration of the bound form. Bound form, I told you very clearly. It is the bound form which remains in plasma, right? So, I am saying the value is more, the value 
is more volume of distribution this more it is 20 instead of 5 so i want more volume of distribution if you want more volume of distribution that is 20 30 like that right so there should be less bound form less plasma concentration or less bound form less bound form right less bound form means more free form more free form everyone give me a thumbs up less bound form or more free form now you all are saying d so is it d d matlab highly bound to plasma so i am saying low bound form no d is not the answer how d can be the answer i am saying low bound form it should be high free form high free form will go in the tissue it will go in the tissue bound form will remain in the blood so blood may come but chega tissue may zada hoga tissue may zada hoga to a is the answer it is sequestered in the tissue that's why it will be the answer give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up yes a is the answer so kuldeep and sana have answered it correctly and most of the students are saying d now those who are wrong those who those who have said d give me a thumbs up now these are difficult level questions these are ultra ultra high difficulty level questions these are not someone everyone can solve if you have thorough knowledge then only you can apply it here otherwise it is the rattification ha a b c d kuch bhi hai no and ratta nahi chalega. it should be the conceptual conceptual apply the formula i have taught you the formula very clearly formula mate it is the bound form which is coming now apply you want more now the examiner is asking you volume of distribution exceed exceed matab high so he is asking for more volume of distribution so bound form is less if bound form is less free form is more you should know bound is in blood and free is in tissue now apply it in your options one by one so i tried hard here come on and you are not appreciating my efforts give me a thumbs up everyone if you appreciate it Give me a thumbs up. So correct answer is A, not D. Why you were saying D? I don't know. I don't know. So those who were saying D, can anyone from them can give a valid explanation that what was your thought process? I want to know actually where you where you got the mistake so that uh, I can explain you that mistake well. No? Why you, you why you have said D? Why is there is any concept behind it that you just got got confused? Why you were saying D as the answer? D is not the answer. But most of the students were saying D. Even if one or two is saying I don't mind, but many students were saying D. I don't know why. So do you have some concept which I am missing here? No, it was just a mistake. Okay, anyways, if you have, please write down. Okay, okay, Tukka. Ashish, no. Ashish, no Tukka, no Tukka. In exam, there is no Tukka. It should be your concept, it should be your hard work. Then only you will get your rank in single digit. In single digit. Tukki walo ko single digit ka rank nahi milega. It will be in thousands or lakhs. So don't apply Tukka anytime, right? Understand the concept. Understand the concept. Give me a thumbs up, right? Okay. So coming to the next question. So apply the concept. Huh? You take your time. Don't rush. Don't hurry. First, nahi aana hai hume. First, yahan pe likhna nahi hai. Sahi likhna hai. That is the point. So please read the question. Low volume of distribution means. Apply the formula. Apply the two formulas together. You always apply. So volume of distribution is inversely proportional to bound form. And volume of distribution is directly proportional to free form. Apply this formula. Bound form is present in blood. And free form is present in tissue. The, that's it that's it if you know these two formula correctly and if you are able to apply in the options now what the author want author kya chata hai examiner kya chata hai examiner wants low volume of distribution so do it low here also do it low here also here also now apply it if you are doing it low here so it will be high because it is inversely proportional and if you are doing it low here it will be low because it is directly proportional so the summary is that low volume of distribution means which examiner is asking low volume of distribution means high bound form high blood form and low free form and low tissue form now apply in the options whatever option is that you can see so drug has low t half t half has nothing to do with volume of distribution no t half has nothing the drug does not accumulate in the tissue does not accumulate means less accumulate so yes this is the you know low volume of distribution is low free form low free form is low tissue form so it is not accumulating in the tissue yes b is the correct answer it has nothing to do with bioavailability and it is having weak plasma protein binding no no this option is reverse low volume of distribution is more plasma protein binding low volume of distribution means high high bound form bound form is plasma protein binding so it is not weak it is high plasma protein binding that's why this option is incorrect because it is reverse now you should understand if i yahan pe weak ki jagah mein high kar dun to d bhi sahi ho jayega give me a thumbs up if you are getting my points i don't know whether you are getting or not so these are the difficult concepts here come on have you got it have you got it yes b is the correct answer you all are right here b is the correct answer everyone is right yes ashish shochi puja abhirami kuldeep mohammad sana siddhi shivang puja everyone good so i am done with the two chapters do you do you have any doubt so absorption is done from my side distribution is done by from my side distribution was difficult do you find found out difficult the free form and the bound form and the uh, the conclusion of them is volume of distribution 
volume of distribution is directly proportional to free form and volume of distribution is inversely proportional to the bound form free form enters in tissue and bound form remains in blood isse easy main nahi kar sakti i cannot simplify than this and you know the formula of volume of distribution you can do the numericals also this is the summary gist of the chapter let me move to the third chapter now bio transformation or metabolism are you people ready get set go should we start okay so let me start the third chapter metabolism see everyone see here so i have taken a drug from oral route so drug is going in mouth it is going in esophagus it is going in stomach it is going in intestine now if the drug is acidic it will be absorbed from stomach the acidic medium if the drug is basic it will be absorbed from intestine the basic medium see the beauty of the drug diagram i have drawn this diagram for you it is not not from any books so see acidic drug is absorbed from stomach i have shown it clearly and basic drug is absorbed from the intestine i have shown it clearly so that you have a concept here right so ultimately the drug is reaching this is absorption is over we have completed the absorption it is over movement of the drug from site of administration to blood right after coming in the blood the sum of the drug will bound with the protein acidic drug bound with albumin basic drug bound with alpha 1 glycoprotein so there are two forms free form and bound form we know everything about it free form is active bound is inactive free will go to the tissue free will go to the tissue bound will not go to the tissue bound will remain in the blood only and we have understood the concept of volume of distribution here this all phenomenon is known as distribution give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up now drug already free drug already entered the site of action and it has shown its mechanism of action if i am taking for headache my headache is treated if i am taking for diarrhea my diarrhea is treated if i am taking for tachycardia bradycardia that is treated whatever disease i am having the drug is going to its site of action site of action can be any organ in the body and the disease is treated now i cannot keep the drug in my body forever its job is over i want to excrete the drug so the drug will again from the uh, from the uh, site of action it will come in the blood and from the blood it will go to the kidney and ask the kidney please excrete me my job is over now please excrete me kidney will say no i will not excrete you you are a non polar drug i cannot dissolve you in in urine urine is water so anything polar can dissolve in the urine and if you can't dissolve in the urine how i i will excrete you i can excrete the things only via urine i have only one way to excrete out of the body that is urine and urine is water urine is water so only polar drugs can be excreted non polar drugs cannot be excreted since you are non polar i cannot excrete you go back in the blood so kidney ne usko kick mara so drug is again going in the blood now drug what the drug will do drug will go to the liver and ask the liver can you please convert me from non polar to polar form i want to get excreted of the body and kidney is saying no so if you can convert me from non polar to polar form then i will be excreted out of the body so can you do that liver will say yes it's my job i will do that i will convert you from non polar to polar form and the mechanism is known as metabolism or bio transformation so that is my third chapter so listen it like a story yes or no yes so let me move to the next topic metabolism so this is the same thing i have shown you absorption is done distribution is done let me do metabolism in the liver in the liver it will be done and finally it will go in the kidney for excretion okay so let me start the third chapter metabolism or bio transformation you tell me the definition what is the definition of metabolism of or bio transformation we will do some chemical alteration in the drug so that it convert from non polar to polar form non polar to polar form everyone give me a thumbs up uh, you know the meaning of hydrophilic and hydrophobic in chemistry in your childhood you may have studied it in your 7th or 8th or 9th standard when you were in school hydrophilic hydrophobic lipophilic lipophobic philic ka matlab hota hai loving and phobic ka matlab hota hai fear phobia phobic right so this is love this is hate you know yes or no you know this or not i am asking you so let me tell you the definition of metabolism there are three definitions of metabolism or bio transformation ek hi baat hai metabolism or bio transformation everyone give me a thumbs up if i am asking you please respond at least there are three definitions listen to convert the drug from non polar to polar form this is the first definition everyone give me a thumbs up non polar to polar or to convert the drug from hydro phobic to hydrophilic hydrophobic to hydrophilic yes or no hydrophobic to hydrophilic yes or no hydro matlab water water hating phobic matlab hate to water love water love that is i want to make it insoluble to soluble yes or no the third definition i want to make it lipo water and lipid are inversely proportional fat and water right so i want to make it lipophilic to lipophobic see 
seat crystal clear definitions lipophobic yes or no lipophobic so i want to make love of the lipid and convert it into hate of the lipid yes if if the if the drug hate lipid then only it will love water so give me a thumbs up i tried hard so these are the three definitions these are the three definitions which you will get in your options of metabolism i will launch the polls if you don't have this concept student get confused ma'am hydrophobic to hydrophilic hai ki lipophilic to lipophobic hai so ultimately it is non polar to polar you have to learn that so the three definitions of metabolism is in front of you yes or no so i am teaching you in this way in the story form just to make you learn right so the concepts should be crystal clear in your mind so i want to convert a non polar drug into polar drug i want to convert water insoluble to water soluble or lipid soluble to lipid insoluble because water and lipid are inversely proportional to each other give me a thumbs up <coughs> everyone give me a thumbs up so that is the thing so that drug can go to the kidney and get excreted why i am doing so because without that kidney will say no kidney will not excrete the drug i want the drug to get excreted from renal tubules renal tubules will excrete only polar drug so i want to convert the drug into polar so that it can be excreted out of the body out of the body so this is the definition of biotransformation i guess you all got it you all got it so listen this is my drug so it is a free drug which will go here bound drug will not go we have already studied this in distribution so free drug will enter the liver these are the cells of the liver the cells of the liver are known as hepatocytes hepatocytes give me a thumbs up these are the hepatocytes so the free drug will enter the liver the inside the cell of the liver that is hepatocytes these hepatocytes so there are enzymes present inside the cell of the liver these are the these are present in the mitochondria also cytoplasm also two types of enzymes are there i will tell you everything so that enzymes will convert the drug from non polar to polar give me a thumbs up okay so biotransformation is for lipophilic drugs or uh hydrophilic drugs do not require biotransformation someone was asking yesterday na so if the drug is always already polar there is no need of biotransformation so drug after distribution can directly go for excretion if the drug is polar but if the drug is non polar if the drug is non polar then before excretion there should be metabolism so it is not for always all drugs if the drug is already polar there is no need of doing the metabolism or biotransformation if it is non polar then we have to convert non polar to polar for that we have to do so in short biotransformation is required for lipophilic drugs it is not required for hydrophilic hydrophilic means polar if it is already polar no need give me a thumbs up if you got this point also so these are your options a b c d mein options aate hain statements aate hain so you get confused right your concepts are clear you will not get confused you will never so where the metabolism takes place in the entire human body it 90% of times takes place in liver only 10% times it is extra liver 10% so extra liver mein kahan kahan hota hai it can occur in kidney also kidney mein excretion to hota hi hai kidney mein metabolism can also takes place in the git in the lungs in the plasma in the skin particularly for few drugs you have to learn the examples in kidney it is for vitamin d in git it is for penicillin and insulin in lungs it is for serotonin 5 ht in plasma it is for succinyl choline and in skin it is for d3 d3 that that is the one of the form of d3 so apart from these four five drugs all other drugs are metabolized in liver so liver is the main organ but it is not always 100% liver that you should know there are few exceptions in which metabolism do not takes place in liver it takes place outside the liver that is extra hepatic metabolism so you should know the exceptions these are the exceptions in which metabolism do not takes place in liver but somewhere else from the uh, liver so you should know the examples of such drugs along with their organ of metabolism so there are only four or five examples it should be at the tip of your tongue because mcqs are always there on exceptions you should know all exceptions of human body of all diseases all drugs everything exceptions are important for mcq examiner loves exception he will create the questions on exception so and most of the time liver is the organ give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up okay let me move ahead then okay <laughs> okay so let me tell you listen now listen listen now the things will get complicated now you have to concentrate here otherwise things will get complicated listen here everyone listen so this is the drug i am taking taking it is going inside going inside going inside it is getting absorbed from stomach and intestine reaching the blood so this is the free drug i am interested in free drug only i am not interested in bound drug so the free drug is present in the blood now ideally i want the drug should go first at the site of action show its mechanism of action after that dr the drug should go in the liver and convert from non polar to polar if drug first going in the liver and get converted from non polar to polar 
so polar drug will be excreted out of the body so once it become polar it will be excreted i don't want the excretion before mechanism of action first i want mechanism of action then i want excretion give me a thumbs up so ideally i want being a human i want this sequence i want the first the drug should go at here show mechanism of action then drug should go to the liver show non polar to polar conversion and in the end the drug should, should go to the kidney but it is not according to the my wish if blood is present uh, if drug is present in the blood it will go to all three organs simultaneously it will go all three organs simultaneously give me a thumbs up if you got it it will go all three organs simultaneously so currently i am interested in this organ because i am teaching you metabolism i am teaching you metabolism listen what i want to say here everyone listen so if drug is going it is present in the blood from the blood it is going to the liver so okay listen this is my drug this is my drug this is non polar that's why it is going to the liver otherwise it will not go to the liver this is non polar so liver will convert non polar to polar that is sure that is sure that is the definition of metabolism what i want to say listen here that is metabolism or biotransformation that is non polar drug will get converted into polar that's it everyone give me a thumbs up non polar to polar mein convert ho gaya usme problem nahi hai mujhe lekin what will happen to the activity of the drug during this process so there can be three option initially the drug was active it was active but during after transformation it is converted into polar metabolite this is known as polar metabolite it is also active it is also active so now polar metabolite will come in the blood listen now the main drug is going in the liver and the metabolite the polar metabolite will come back in the blood the main drug will not come so this is active or not active it is very important if it is active only then only it will go to the site of action and show action give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up the second option you can always understand the second option you already so the drug was initially active and now after transformation it become inactive it become inactive now so initially jitna enter ho gaya ho gaya the drug is entering simultaneously here 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 na so yahan pe jitna enter ho gaya that will show action once the drug entered here it will become inactive now it will come back in the blood but it cannot go to here because it is inactive i hope you are getting i hope you are getting this is the second option so the first option active to active the second option in inact active to inactive the metabolite will become inactive initially it was active the third option is most important it can happen initially the drug was inactive initially the drug was inactive and after going in the liver it become active it become does it happen yeah there are many drugs we taken in active form these drugs are known as pro drugs the panda of pro drugs came here so pro drugs are the drugs which are inactive so you are taking a inactive drug so inactive drug is going in your blood this drug is inactive now it will go simultaneously to all three but initially it is inactive it will not show its action at the site of the action so it will go to the liver liver will do two things number 1 liver will convert the drug from non polar to polar so it can go to the kidney and get excreted and convert from inactive to active form so it can go to the site of action and show its action so this third form is important that is known as pro drug so i will give you example of all three scenarios what are the three scenarios enumerate the active to active conversion active to inactive conversion but don't learn the examples of these these are not important the most important is inactive to active that is known as pro drug the list of the pro drug should be at the tip of your trunk at the tip of you i will give you the mnemonic also give me a thumbs up if you got the fund up first give me a thumbs up so what are the three situations you tell me initially the drug is active and after bio transformation it got it got inactive the second initially it was active and after bio transformation it remains active only and the third initially it was inactive and now after bio transformation it becomes active these drugs are known as pro drugs you should know the examples of all of them everyone give me a thumbs up everyone so there are three pods and in all of them one thing is common who will tell me in all of them in all of them non polar drugs get converted into polar i'm not talking about polarity in all of them whether it is this whether it is this whether it is this it is non polar that's why bio transformation is taking and this one is polar so polar inactive metabolite is formed here polar active metabolite is formed here polar active so polarity is there it is common but whether it is active so activity is something different and polarity is something different give me a thumbs up polarity is the word which is required for excretion in the kidney and activity is the word which is required at the site of action so liver is in the center this is site of action us pe aapko activity useful hai and this is kidney is pe aapko polarity useful hai so this liver can do both active to inactive and active to active and non polar to polar give me a thumbs up yaar i am trying really hard for you people so i will give you examples of all three right then i will tell you the basic mechanism of um, uh, how actually bio transformation takes place name the enzyme who convert non polar drug to polar and what are the various mechanism but i would like to take a break for 5 minutes or 10 minutes after that i will continue the episode number 6 of bio um, um, pharmacokinetics 
so just a second give me a break of just 10 minutes at 12 pm sharp i will join again right and we will continue episode number six please join the link of episode number six of pharmacokinetics i will continue with metabolism and after that if time allows i will start with excretion i don't think it will take one and a half hour one and a half hour to get completed so next lecture will be a long lecture starting from 12 till 1 30 right so please have a cup of tea coffee or refresh yourself anyhow but come back sharp at 12 so thank you very much for being with me for this lecture and there are few announcements as usual which i bound to do in every lecture so please excuse me for that uh just a second here it is okay so here i am so thank you very much for being with me don't forget to follow my profile link on an academy and you can use the code suchdev10 for unlocking the free classes next classes are after five minutes on an academy we have two types of subscription plus you will get only an academy iconic along with an academy we will provide you trapeador also so these are the features you will get once you take the subscription these are the various plans available under plus and these are the various plans available under iconic you can select any plan according to your wish and if you apply my code such dev 10 before purchasing any of these plan you will get maximum discount maximum authentic discount from the team so i advise you to take the plan at least for a trial you can go for three months or longer the plan cheaper it is so you can select any plan plus or iconic and you should give a trial thank you very much and don't forget to join me back after 10 minutes thank you